We are here in Cape Coral off of Coronado Park, way outside of the apartment complex where Lauren DeMolo was last seen three years ago. When I was speaking with her sister, she was telling me that she cannot believe it's taken this long for her family to get answers. Where is she? Um, I mean, I think that's, you know, everyone's biggest question is where is she? The question that gnaws at Cassie Carey three years after her older sister's disappearance. At this point, we're going on three years of the unknown, and that's probably the hardest part is not knowing because your brain is constantly in like fight mode and think mode. There's no rest. It's exhausting. If you were in Lauren's circle, if you knew her on whatever level and you've been and you know more than you've shared, why won't you come forward? You know, her little girl is growing up without her mom. An open wound for the family of Damalo, who was 29 at the time she went missing and can't be healed without answers. Damalo was last seen at her home off of Coronado Parkway in South Cape. An investigators say her phone was inside the apartment. But a mile away, her purse and sweater turned up at the Four Freedoms Park on Cape Coral Parkway, a place Lauren's sister says was her happy place. Cassie says the last time she spoke to her sister was the night before she went missing. I was supposed to help her get signed up for unemployment. That phone call never came. Cassie says her sister was at war with drugs, but was trying to get better for her daughter. Cassie tells me the same month Lauren vanished, she was involuntarily held twice for Baker Acts for emergency mental health services. The first time was June 1st, and the second was just days before she was last seen. She's released. She's out there looking for a job. That's not somebody that's going to run away. Cape Coral Police couldn't comment on the case because it's still extremely active. But when I was speaking with Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, they told me that the reward for this case, $8,000. And if you do give a tip, you will remain anonymous. From the Cape, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.